Greetings everyone, welcome to the channel, this is Eddie Set Go, and today I've got a bit of motorcycling news for you, and this news is all about the Aprilia RS660, their new middleweight super sports bike, which is due to be released, hopefully, or now, you know, unveiled um, within the next few months, hopefully before the end of 2020. Um, and what I have for you today are some on-track um, photos uh, taken at the Misano race circuit. As you know, MotoGP has got a double header this week uh, at Misano in Italy. Um, and the Aprilia MotoGP riders and the test riders, so you've got Alicia Sparkaro, Bradley Smith and Lorenzo Savadori, they took the bike out on track. Uh, and you've got some on-track photos which I'll put on the screen now for you. So this is a very exciting bike, you know, back in the early 90s, um, Aprilia wasn't really making this kind of bike and they brought out the RS250. Two stroke, 250cc, it was all, I think it made about 60 brake horsepower and it was brilliant. It was just focused and awesome and everyone loved it. Uh, my personal favourite at the time was the Suzuki RGV250. Um, but then Aprilia brought the RS out and it looked really kind of sleek and Italian and cool. And Aprilia seem to be doing the same thing now. They've taking a step back from all these big litre bikes, the V4s that they're doing, and they're bringing out this Parallel Twin 660cc. Uh, now, if you're not up to date with the RS660, um, in a nutshell, it is a 169 kilo middleweight sports bike. Um, it puts out about 93 brake horsepower, so it's perfectly positioned for anyone looking for an A2 bike. You know, if you're looking for an A2 bike, then this should be on your radar. When it comes out, you know, I mean, look at it. You can de-restrict it when you're ready, and you get everything, everything's loaded with it as well. So you've got so much electronics. You've got six axis IMU in it. So it monitors everything what's going on on the bike all the time. You've got throttle by wire, TFT dash, um, you've got cruise control, um, you've got a quick shifter with an auto blipper as well. Um, rider modes, um, it, is, it is perfectly positioned to be you know, a road bike and a track bike. <laughs> it, looks, it looks really cool and you've got this amazing design, you've got those, I mean look at it, you've got those LED headlights, there's no billion seat to speak of, you know, this is focused for the rider and the track. And what, what I like about this bike is that this comes at a time when you know, the, the last few years there's been a shift isn't there from just middleweight super sports people are now into their nakeds their street triples mt09s mt07s um and you know a more practical upright bike that can be ridden through all weathers through all um through all you know if you're commuting and tracking and all that so there's been a kind of a move away from these middleweight super sports you know, the only competition to this bike at the moment as it stands is like the CBR, the Honda CBR 650R. You've got the Kawasaki ZX6 as well. So there's not a lot of competition for this bike and it's coming in stacked with everything on it. Um, in terms of price, the rumor is it's not been unveiled yet officially, but in terms of price, everyone's thinking it's around just shy of 10,000 pounds here in the UK, about 11, 11, $11,300 perhaps. Um, so it's more to the, you know, when you think of an R6, I think an R6, I'll get the R6 as well. That's about 11 grand for, for an R6. Um, <clears throat> I think the same for the ZX6 as well. So competitively priced, I'd say. So they have the Aprilia RS660 as it stands at the moment. It's due to be released in the coming months. Um, as and when, I'll let you know. I'll put some, some news out on the channel. But this for me is going to be the standout middleweight super sports bike that you can buy, especially as this is going to be A2 friendly. You're going to be able to restrict it to 47 brake horsepower and when the time is right, unlock all those 100 horses. Um, and it's just stacked with features with cool tech, quick shifters and riding modes. And, and, and the bike is going to be learning and adjusting as you're riding it it's so cool so yeah is this a bike that you're going to be interested in at all the aprilia rs 660 uh what do you think please put a comment below let me know um and as more news comes out i'll let you know as well so ride safe drive safe and i'll see you next time